Hello and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. Previously, we have had a lesson on ordered data store, and this is the code from our last lesson. So just a quick review, we declare our data store service in our data store table up here the, in the first two lines. And here we have a sample data that we use for our test data. We're going to use this data table to load our data store table. So this is where we do the set, set async to load our data store table. And our data store table is this points DSS here. And this is the variable that we use to reference to our data store table. And in this section of the code here, we're using the get sorted async to get the data from our data store table. And finally, at the end here, we're using the data that we got from our ordered data store table to post the data onto our wall. So basically, our wall has a bunch of text labels. And on the left here, I got the player's names. I got five text labels to store the player's names. And on the right here, I have five text labels to store the player's scores. Now, if I play this, you see that the data from our test data here has been loaded onto this wall and they are in sorted order. They are in descending order. So the highest score, the player with the highest score goes first and you know, we're showing the top five players on this wall only. So that was all from our previous lesson on ordered data store. For today's lesson, we're going to add a little bit more. We're going to learn how to set lower limit, how to set a greater limit, and how to do a page up in your data store. To set the greater limit for my data store, for my ordered data store, I would do it this way. In my get sorted async, I would add a parameter. So this one I'm gonna say nil, and the next parameter is my greater limit. So for example, if I put in 10,000 here, it means that 10,000 is the highest limit for my data. So anything above 10,000 will not be displayed. So it's gonna start with this one, which is below 10,000. So the first entry in my data store, when it received from the get sorted async, it's going to be 9,364. And then after that, it goes down in descending order. Let's take a look. And there you see it. 9,364 is the highest one. The one with the um, the, the player with the 18,000 is not counted because he is above the limit. The, the greatest limit is 10,000, so he's above that, he's not counted. On the other hand, if I want to do a set lower limit, I'm going to change the sort order. Instead of doing it in descending order, I'm going to change it to ascending order. So true is ascending order, false is descending order. And this five here is the number of entries per page. This one here is my lower limit. So for example, if I want to start where the player has at least 100 points, I would do this. So I'm gonna start with the lowest limit is 100 point. And then um, I probably don't need this entry here. Let's play to test. So there it is. So you see the, the the player with the lowest point is 154, and then it goes up in ascending order. And here again, so 100 is my lowest limit. And as you can see, these two players are not counted because they are below the lowest limit. So it started with this player, I'm sorry, this player, 154, and then it goes up in ascending order. 
And the last thing we want to go over today is how to advance to the next page by doing a page up. Again here I have a test table which has 8 entries and I have made a change to have only 3 entries per page in descending order. So which means I'm gonna have 3 different pages. The first page is gonna have 3 players. The second page is going to have three players and the last page is going to contain two players and they are going to be in descending order. So that's what this one does. It's going to put three per page, right? And I have added a, a, an infinite while loop. So I'm going to keep looping through my pages until when there's no more pages. So when you check pages is finished means that the last page has been reached. So basically here I'm just getting the current page and I'm displaying the current page on my wall and after I display the, the data I'm gonna go down here and check to see if is that the last page. If it is the last page I'm gonna break out of this um, infinite while loop otherwise if there's more if it if it is not the last page means there is more so if there is more data to display, I'm just gonna wait for seven seconds and then I'm gonna clear the board. So I just clear out everything before I advance to the next page and here this is gonna take me to the next page. So now it loops back up and my current page now is the second page, it's the next page. So then I, I redo the, the whole process over and over until I run out of data which means my page is the last page and then I break out the loop. Let's play and take a look. So we expect three different pages that are displayed in descending order. Three per page. So here I have the first page with the first three players, the three top players and give it seven seconds. Here's the second page. You got three more players and the next one should have only two players. And these are the final two players. All right, everyone, that's how you do a set lower limit, set greater limit, and advancing to the next page in your order data store. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.